Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the date picker, this guy here. So what I'm going to do is basically set a horizontal arrangement with a label, which we're going to assign today's date to. And next to that, I'm going to put the date picker itself. Okay. So basically, on startup, that'll have today's date, and so will that show it there as well and we'll show you different types of data that you can have when we use this okay so first thing I'm going to do is delete the text from each of these so there goes the text from the, the uh, date picker and I'll also remove the text from here as well from the label so basically they've got nothing shown I'm going to set those inside the blocks so we've got the screen initialize up and running here and what we're going to do is we're going to set the labels text to the current date time and, and whatever from the um, date picker here so we click on date picker and we can grab things like the day um, and month in text somewhere or month you can have the number or the actual three letters of the month like OCT for October and so on, and then finally year as well. Um, yeah. Now, if I put, uh, what I need to do is obviously connect these together some way, and uh, you may know that the join is the best way of doing that, connecting text together. So I'm going to set the label. So my label displays the day, then displays a space to separate it from the month, and I'm going to put the month in there in text followed by another space I'll just duplicate that and finally I'm going to bung the year in at the end there so the year goes in on the end and that's all of that done so day month and text year will be on my text field sorry my label one text field now the other thing I want to do is display something on the date picker button itself because if you remember in the designer we actually took that out. So we, although we would have the date here in the label, we won't have it actually on the date picker itself. So it would be nice to put it on there, I suppose. Um, so we'll grab the date picker one and we'll find its text uh, uh, function here. Here it is, set function there. And we'll set that to exactly the same as that because we want the same date to be on the label and on the date picker button itself. So, um, right, okay, let's go ahead and look at that and see what it looks like. And there we go, 27th of October, which is today. And there it is on the text field of the button itself. So if I click on that, that'll pop out. And by default, it will put in today's date in uh, month, day, year order. Um, and you can change the date internally to that. But you'll see that when I set it, the date doesn't change on there. So I, mean, I can put any date here I wanted. but and that will set it internally. Now let's have a look at how that works. So let's say I changed the date and I wanted the date to be displayed in both those places. I guess that would be the next thing you'd want to do. And that's a, a pretty easy thing to do because with date picker, you have this after date set block here. And really all we need to do after the data has been set is to pop the data in exactly the same places as we had to start with. So if I pop out now, change the date, I don't know, to November, December the 25th, and set that there, you can see now that the date has been set there on both the label and the button text itself. Okay, so that's basically how you work with the uh, date picker uh, button. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Give, please give feedback and so on. Thanks a lot. Bye.